Good morning, y'all. It's Monday, April the 13th. I hope you've had a great spring break. Let's start with praying. Father God, I thank you for today. I thank you for these young people who are watching this video remotely in their homes. Lord, I pray you will keep us safe from this coronavirus and that you will help life to return to normal as soon as possible, Father. I lift up to you those who are actively on the front lines, the health care workers, those who are sick, Lord, those who have lost someone already to the virus. I lift up to you all our prayer requests, Lord, that we've had. I lift up to you each one by name, Zonel and Derek and Chloe, Grayson, Merrick, Emmanuel, Elena, and Logan. I lift all them up to you. I ask you now to help us have a good class today and to learn something. In the precious name of Jesus, amen. Okay, so right before y'all went out for spring break, y'all had a quiz on factoring. I want to review factoring real quick because some of you are struggling. Let me see if I can get that focused a little better. Okay, hopefully that's better. Let's factor, um, practice all the different steps. Okay, so I've got this problem and I want to factor it. And remember that our patterns of factoring, our greatest common factor, difference of perfect squares, perfect square trinomial, trinomial that starts with an x squared, and general, gen, general trinomial. We do them in this order. So I look to see if I have a GCF. 8, 16, and 20, what's the biggest number that goes into all of them? 4 x squared, x, and x cubed. They all have at least one x. y to the fourth, y to the fifth, I'm going to make that y squared just so we can mix it up a little bit. y to the fourth, y to the fifth, y squared. They all have at least two y's. And then the z. This is the only one that has a z, so it can't be a GCF. So we write a parenthesis. If we have an 8 and we pull out a 4, 8 divided by 4 leaves me with a 2. If we have x squared and pull out an x, we are left with an x. If we have y to the 4th and pull out y squared, we're left with y squared. Okay. All right. Pause, y'all. i got to talk to my hubby a minute, but I can't stop this recording because I don't want to start it all over again. Um, well, it's okay. We need bread and juice for the Lord's Supper tonight. Get some, like, some flatbread or something from the deli, and you might bring back lunch. I love you. Love you Bye. Okay. Our church is doing Lord's Supper virtually online tonight, and we don't have any juice or bread. So, anyway. All right. Back up. 4 went into 8, 16, and 20. So if I pull out a 4 out of 8, I'm left with 2. 8 divided by 4 is 2. x squared, and I take out an x, I have 1x left. y to the 4th, and I take out y squared, I'm left with y squared. Let's go to the next one. 16 divided by 4 leaves me with 4. And it was a negative 16, so it's a negative 4. I had 1x, and I pulled out 1x, so they're all gone. I had 5y's, and I pulled out 2y's. So I'm left with three y's, and I didn't pull out a z at all, so I'm left with a z. 20 divided by 4 leaves me with a 5. x cubed divided by x leaves me with x squared. y squared divided by y squared, they're all completely gone. And now I factored it by GCF. Now I can look at this and see... If it looks like any of these other patterns, I can just tell you that this is just a made-up something. So this one only factors by GCF. Now, I forgot to tell you, I would like you to be writing these down so you have more examples. So if you need to stop the video and get you some notebook paper, we're practicing these different patterns. Okay. The next pattern I want to practice is difference of perfect squares. Now when I look at that, it doesn't look like a difference of squares. That's not a square and that's not a square. 
but these two have a GCF of 2. If I pull a 2 out of 18, I'm left with 9. If I pull a 2 out of 98, I'm left with 49. Now look at what's inside the parentheses. Is that a square? It is, of 3x. Is this a square? It is, of 7. Is it a minus in the middle? It is. So it is a difference, meaning subtraction, of perfect squares. So remember that when we have a difference of perfect squares, we do two parentheses, 3x and 3x, 7 and 7, 1 plus and 1 minus. The reason you do 1 plus and 1 minus is when you foil it back out, you'll get a positive 21x and a negative 21x, and they will cancel. 7 times negative 7 will give me the negative 49. So there's my final answer. If you don't put the 2, it's incorrect. You've got to put anything you've factored out. So we reviewed DOPS. Okay, now let's review perfect square trinomial. Okay. So I've got an example of that for you. 16x squared minus 40x plus 25. So the way we figure out if it's a perfect square trinomial is we look and see, is this a square? It is. Is this a square? It is. Multiply the two together. 4x times 5 is 20x. Double it. 20x doubled is 40. I make one parenthesis with a square mark. I put the 4x here. I put the 5 here. And it's always the sign of the middle. If you were to fold this back out, you know, write it out twice and foil it, 4x minus 5, 4x minus 5, 4x times 4x is 16x squared, 4x times negative 5 is negative 20x, negative 5 times 4x is negative 20x, negative 5 times negative 5 is positive 25, and these two together make the negative 40x. That's why I said you had to double it, because you need two of them. If the middle is not two of them, it's not a PST. Okay. Then we had the pattern I call tricks, which is a trinomial that starts with an x squared. I think these are the easiest, but some of you are struggling with your signs. x squared minus 6x plus 8. I do two parentheses. Guys, I'm sorry that my lighting is just icky today. I'm trying to figure out how to make it better. And it just seems to be icky. I may have to put another bulb in my light in here in my bedroom or my study. All right. We do an X and an X. And then we're looking for two numbers that multiply to give me 8 but add to give me 6. Well, 1 and 8 won't do it, but 2 and 4 will. So I put a 2 and I put a 4. Now I've got to make it match the sign of the middle. They're going to add, so the only way they can add is if they're both positive or they're both negative. To get a negative 6x, they both have to be negative. If you had them both positive, it would give you a positive 6x. If you had one of each, they would be subtracting and not multiplying. I mean, not adding. And they have to add because of that plus. So on the quiz, the people that missed problems on the quiz usually missed it because you had your sign in the incorrect spot. Okay. And I'm going to try something here with the brightness and see if this helps. Let's see if that helps some. And again, I apologize um, for it kind of being all over the place today. All right. Last one we got to practice is Gentry. And then we're going to put all this knowledge to use today. All right. So here is how I approach a factoring problem. I start up here with GCF. 6, 13, 63. Nothing in common. I go to DOPS. 
It can't be a DOPS because a DOPS has to have two terms. So I go to PST. It can't be a PST because this is not a square. This is not a square. So I go to TRIX. It's not a TRIX because a TRIX always starts with a 1 and this one starts with a 6. So it must be Gentry. So I can either do box or slide, and then for a couple of you I showed you the other patterns, but I'm going to do it by box and by slide. So I'm going to start by doing it by box, and then I'll do it by slide. And if you don't like either of these or understand either of these, then if you will contact me, I will teach you another pattern that hopefully will help you learn it. Either way, with box and slide, you start by multiplying 6 times 63. So 6 times 6. 6 times 3 is 18, carry my 1. 6 times 6 is 36, and the 1 I carried is 37. So 378. Now, on your calculator, you can hit the Y equals button and do 378 divided by X. Okay, I'm going to do it in my head. I need a pair that subtract to give me 13. Well, 1 and 378 won't do it. 2 and... 150 and 39, 189, that won't do it, 3 and 126, that won't do it, um, 4 won't go into it, 5 won't go into it, 6 will go in because 2 and 3 both go in, 6 and 63, and that's what we know because that's what we multiplied to get it. 7, 7 goes into 37 5 times with a remainder of 2, 7 and 54, that won't get it, 9 and 40, let's see, 9 times 4 is 36, remainder, 9 and 42, that won't get it, but I'm getting closer, 10 won't go because 5 wouldn't go, 11, 11 won't go, 12 won't go, 13, 13 times 2 is 26 times 26, I don't think 13 will go, I'm tired of doing it on my head, I'm going to reach over here and do it on my computer, which is sitting by me, but it of course had timed out. Calculator, 378 divided by 13, doesn't go, 378 divided by 14, goes, so 14 and 27, ah, there's our pair. Now, if you're doing it with a calculator, you ought to be able to see it much quicker, okay, so they had to subtract, so 14 and 27, if you do 27 take away 14, you get 13. That works. So we draw a box. We put the 6x squared in front. We put the negative 63 in the back. Then we put 14x and 27x and we fix our signs. And this is where some of you are struggling. I need to make these two combine to equal negative 13. So to get a negative 13, it's going to have to be a negative 27 and a positive 14. Okay. Now I do GCF four times. These two have in common a 2x, and my power player is positive, so it's positive 2x. These two have in common a 9, and this one's negative, so it's negative 9. Now let's go up and down. These two have in common a 3x. And 6 is positive, so it's a positive 3x. These two have in common a 7, and it's positive. So my answer is 3x plus 7, 2x minus 9 by the box. Okay. Now I'm going to do this same problem by sliding. Whoops, that's a minus. And it starts exactly the same way. 
6 times 63, which was 378, and you find the pair that subtract to give you 13, and it was 14 and 27, and I want a negative 27 and a positive 14 to make a negative 13. So here's how we slide. Slide number one. Then it's a tricks. We do this just like a tricks, and we put in these two numbers we found. But if you stop there, that's not the correct answer. That's the answer to this, but it's not the answer to the first one because you have to slide again. So we take that six and we slide it here and we slide it here. And then we reduce the fractions if they can. 14 over 6 reduces to 7 over 3. 27 over 6 reduces to 9 over 2. Now we slide the third time. 3x plus 7, 2x minus 9. Denominator slide to the front. And that is the same answer. 3x plus 7, 2x minus 9. 3x plus 7, 2x minus 9 that I got on the previous page. Okay, now I would like you to stop this video, review your notes, okay? If you have any questions, text me or call me, except if it's at 10 o'clock on Monday because I'll be zooming pre-calculus. Text me or call me. Make sure you're comfortable with this before we go on, and then we'll have a second video. Thanks.